Hello, good evening. I see Mariam. I see Carlos Alberto. I see Maurice. Good evening. How are you guys? Hello. Hello, Carlos Alberto. Mauricio. Mariam, are you there? Let me see who else. I see Pablo. Good evening. Good evening, Pablo. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se encuentra ese día? How are you? Fine. You're fine? fine. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Did you go to work? Ah, yes, I work. In, I, I'm very tired. You're very tired. Yes, I, I know. I imagine. Okay, I imagine that you are tired. Okay, so let's see. Well, Maurice, uh, is there also a uh, Carlos Alberto Santana. Ok, bueno, vamos a comenzar con la clase de este día. So let's start. Um, welcome once again. And we have today's agenda. So for today's agenda, we have the warm up. We also have grammar. And today we are going to cover adjectives ending in ed and ing. We also have a speaking time. We have grammar quiz. We have reading quiz. And we have listening quiz. We have three quizzes today, okay? So we also have at the end of the class, the educational game, and we have the wrap up, okay? So to start with, we are going to uh, move to building vocabulary, okay? So today we are going to focus on adjectives, okay? As you can see, we have this information right here, and it says that we need to look at the list of adjectives from the text and match them to their opposites on the right. So guys, we have from one to seven and we also have from A to G, okay? So number one, outgoing. Number two, passionate. Number three, self-confident. Number four, witty. Number five, self-conscious, number six, reflective, number seven, friendly, okay? Then we also have from A to G, we have dull, hostile, impulsive, indifferent, reserved, secure, and timid, yeah? So we have those adjectives. So what we need to do is that we need to match the opposite. Okay, tenemos que colocar el opuesto. Yes, so we have number one, outgoing. Which is the opposite? ¿Cuál es el opuesto de outgoing? Primero que nada, ¿qué significa outgoing? What is the meaning of outgoing? Uh -huh. Who knows? What is outgoing? What is it? Good evening. Extrovertido. Good evening. Extrovertido, okay? Outgoing means extroverted. Perfect, okay? Es una persona extrovertida. Outgoing. So, which is the opposite? Which is the antonym? Huh? Which is the opposite? Which is the antonym? Now, okay, so let's see. We also have passionate. What is passionate? Passionate means apasionado. Yes, when you are apasionado, cuando usted es apasionado por algo, okay, cuando usted es apasionado por su trabajo, por saber de diferentes cosas, so we can say we are passionate about games. We are passionate about um, different languages, okay? So, which is the opposite of passionate? Which is the opposite? ¿Qué es lo opuesto a apasionado? ¿Qué es lo opuesto? Mm -hmm. Which is the... Okay, very good. 
So passionate, the, the opposite is indifferent. Very good, indifferent, okay? Then we also have self-confident. What is the meaning of self-confident? ¿Qué significa self-confident, guys? Self-confident means seguro de uno mismo. Seguro de ti mismo, okay? So, which is the opposite of self-confident? Which is the opposite? Timid. Timid, all right. So, all right, very good. Excellent. So, what is the meaning of witty? What is witty? Witty means ingenioso, creativo, inteligente. Yeah, so witty. If you are witty, so that means that you are really intelligent, that you are really creative, that you are able to imagine different things. And uh, probably you are good at drawing, you are good at uh, painting, you are good at creating different things because you are witty. Use ingenioso. Yeah, so which is the opposite of witty? Mm -hmm. No? Dull. dull. Okay. And what is dull? Dull means una persona que es aburrida. Boring. Okay. So, witty is creativo, ingenioso, eh, bien alegre. Okay. And dull es una persona aburrida. Okay. Boring. So what is the meaning of self-conscious? What is self-conscious? What is it? Huh? Self-conscious. Consciente de sí mismo. Consciente de sí mismo, pero también significa algo distinto de consciente de sí mismo. En este caso, self-conscious puede significar cohibido. Una persona que es cohibida, una persona que es un poco tímida, pero tímido a cohibido es un, una gran diferencia. Entonces, self-conscious puede significar que tiene conciencia, conciencia de sí mismo, pero también significa que es cohibido. ¿Y cuál es lo opuesto de ser cohibido? Secure. Secure. Very good. Okay. Then we also have reflective if you are reflective that means that you think before doing different things right and which is the opposite the opposite is going to be impulsive okay which is something negative right now friendly so friendly means amigable and which is the opposite of a friendly person Hostile. Hostile, correct, okay, hostile, yeah? So the opposite of outgoing is reserved, okay? So once again, okay, una vez más, significado de todos los adjetivos que tenemos acá. Y piense porque le voy a preguntar cuáles tiene usted, cómo se describe usted, right? So outgoing significa extrovertido. If you are outgoing, that means that you love to go out, that you love to go to the park, that you love to go to parties, that you love to travel to other countries, that you are really extroverted. Este es extrovertido. Si es outgoing, es extrovertido. Passionate, that means that you love to do different things and you do things with passion. Okay? Cuando usted es apasionado. Por, por su trabajo, por los videojuegos, por los libros, whatever thing. You are passionate, okay? Self-confident means seguro de usted mismo. I am self-confident, okay? Yo soy seguro de mí mismo. Self-confident. Witty, that means that you are really smart, you are creative, you are really, um, I would say, uh, unique. Witty means que usted es bien inteligente y creativo. Si usted se considera que es witty, es creativo, es inteligente. Right? So, self-conscious 
puede significar consciente de uno mismo, consciente de sí mismo o cohibido. Depende del contexto. Self-conscious. Okay? Reflective, reflexivo. That you think. Usted piensa antes de actuar. You are reflective. Okay? And friendly, you know what that is, right? Then we also have dull. Okay? Dull means aburrido, boring, ¿ok? Una persona que es aburrida, dull, right? Hostile, host. Hostile, that means que es una persona que no le gusta tener amistad con nadie, ¿ok? Que es un poco hostil, yes? ¿ok? Que no le gusta hablar casi con nadie, ¿ok? Then we also have impulsive. Impulsive, that means impulsivo. That you don't think before doing things. That is negative. Negative, right? Indifferent. Indifferent, negative. All right, indifferent. Then we also have reserved, reservado. All right, so no es lo mismo ser reservado a ser hostil. Okay, so you can be reserved. You can be secure, seguro. Seguro de usted mismo también es lo mismo que self-confident. I am secure. Okay, seguro, ya yeah, de usted mismo. And timid, si es tímido, penoso, okay, yeah. Let's see. Can you please tell me how do you describe yourself using some of these adjectives, Juan José? Okay. I think in my case, I'm, I am a outgoing passionate or some topic like music mm -hmm. and friendly. And friendly, okay, thank you, Juan Jose. What about you, George? How do you describe yourself? Well, I think I am outgoing, mm -hmm. passionate, mm -hmm. friendly, secure, and secure. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Carla, how do you describe yourself? Reflective. Reflective. Okay. Reserved. Reserved. Uh, friendly and a little dull. <laughs> and a little dull. Okay. All right. It's okay. All right. So let's see. Wendy, how do you describe yourself? Mm -hmm. How do you describe yourself, Wendy? De esos adjetivos que tenemos aquí, Wendy. Mm, I am reserved. Reserved. I'm a bad person. Okay, I am a reserved person, okay. Uh-huh. Um, hostile. Hostile. Uh -huh. Oh my God, okay, Wendy? Okay. Yes? Um, yes. Okay. One more. Timid. And timid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Nelly, how do you describe yourself? Huh? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, sometimes I reserve it. Reserved? Reserved? Yes. Uh, um, outgoing, ¿qué significa? Sí. Outgoing, extroverted. Una persona extrovertida. <laughs> no, not, not that much. Okay. Um, passionate, maybe. Passionate. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so let me see. Mariam, are you there? Well, I think that Mariam is not there. Yeah. And let me see. Bernardo, how do you describe yourself? I think I'm sometimes I'm witty, okay. um, reserved, reflective, and friendly. And friendly. Okay, perfect. Thank you. What about you, Eduardo? Is 
is Eduardo there? I did not know. Okay, let's continue, guys. Oh. The, I, I, I think I am reflecting and let a reserve our team. Oh, okay. Reserved, okay. Reserved. Yes, guys. Okay. I, I'm, yes, I see that. Okay, Maurice and Norma. Okay. All right. So then let's move and let's continue with the following. Okay, guys. Now we have compound adjectives for describing character. Now, okay, so let's see. It says, we often use compound adjectives for what is the meaning of compound adjectives. So compound adjectives are the adjectives made up of two or more words. Okay, dice que son los que están compuestos por dos palabras. For describing personality, okay. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine, nine adjectives, compound adjectives for describing character. What is the meaning of absent-minded? What is the meaning of absent-minded? Now, distracted, okay? So distraído, but absent-minded means forgetful. Olvidadizo, okay? Olvidadizo, si usted es una persona que se le olvida todo, you are an absent-minded person. Yeah, olvidadizo. Now, what is the meaning of self-centered? Self-centered. So self-centered is, what do you think self-centered is? Uh -huh. Self egocentric. Egocentric. Una persona egocentric, okay? Si usted um, dice, I am self-centered. I mean, that could be something positive, okay? Puede ser positivo, of course. But it could be something negative, okay? So self-centered, egocentric, all right? Egocentric. Uh -huh. So then we also have big-headed. Big-headed. What is the meaning of big headed? What is Problematic. it? Um, it's like, uh, no, big headed, no. You know, a big headed person is this, uh, there is another adjective that is cocky. Oh, that is cocky. And what is cocky? Cocky is una persona, um, presumida, ok, que se cree más que otras personas, sí, big headed, una persona presumida, is a cocky person, yeah, yeah, so thick skinned, what is the meaning of thick skinned, thick skinned is this type of person that is, um, um, that you can do a lot of things, que usted le puede hacer muchas cosas a esa persona y en español decimos que es cuerudo, que no le afecta nada. Pick skin, ¿ok? Que a usted no le afecta nada. Que le dicen, le hacen y usted no se le ve reacción. ¿Ok? So you are thick skinned. Then we also have hot tempered. What is the meaning of hot temper? Oh my God, this, this is um, the adjective whenever you uh, get angry so easily. Si usted es de las personas que se enoja súper rápido, que le decimos en español que son mecha corta, so you are hot temper. You are hot temper. Two-faced, well, ese es como similar a, a lo mismo de inglés, two-faced, right? Una persona eh, que habla de otros a sus espaldas. Two-faced. Now, what is the meaning of level-headed? Level-headed. Uh -huh. Level-headed. Uh 
No? Any idea? Level um, headed. Lo, lo contrario, uh, big headed. Okay. Yeah. It's the opposite. Yes. But um, give me an interpretation of level headed. Alguien sensible. Alguien, eh, yes, ok. So, a level-headed person es una persona bien sensata. Una persona que está como eh, en calma, ok. Que, que, que um, probablemente tiene muy buen razonamiento. Ok, que no se deja llevar por sus impulsos o por sus emociones. O so, esa persona es level-headed, ok. Una persona neutra que puede manejar Cualquier tipo de situación. Ok. Level headed. That is a good characteristic. Ok. Then we also have warm hearted. So warm hearted. Ok. That means kind. Polite. Una persona amable. Una persona empática. Una persona que es muy pero muy cordial. Que piensa en los demás. Warm hearted. Okay. And narrow minded. Narrow minded is una persona de mente cerrada. Narrow minded. Right? Mm -hmm. Narrow minded. Okay. So now let me ask you from those nine adjectives, which describe your character? Let's see. Um, Carla? Which of those adjectives describe your character? Yes. The first absent minded. Absent minded, okay. So absent minded, um, uh huh? Maybe level eight. Level headed, okay, that is good. Uh -huh. Only. <laughs> Only those two, absent minded and level headed, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right, very good. Uh, what about you, um, Emerson? Hey, miss. Hello, Emerson. Good evening, miss. Good evening. Well, I. I do hot tempered. You're hot tempered? Um, absent minded sometimes. And absent minded sometimes. Okay. All right. Very good. And um, what about you, Juan Jose? I think I I am absent minded too okay. and sometimes level level. Headed. Headed, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So what about you? Um, let me see. Nelly, what about you? Thinking that uh, warm-headed. Okay, warm-headed. And maybe, maybe absent-minded. And absent-minded, okay, all right. Okay, I, I think that Jonathan, you are driving, so I don't know. I think that you cannot participate. All right. So, what about you, George? Well, warm headed. Mm -hmm. Warm headed. And sometimes hot tempered. Hot tempered. Okay, yeah. I got it. yes. Okay, I can see that we have hot tempered people. All right, yes. Okay, so now let's see. We are going to complete each sentence. All right, so it's not easy to offend Jack. He is rather, what do you think? Thick skinned. Correct. So he is rather. Thick skin. Y a eso se le llaman adjetivos compuestos. Ok. 
a esto, cuando usted vea ese tipo de adjetivos, porque sé que lo ha visto en algún lugar, que lleva como un guión, ¿cómo se dice guión en inglés? Dash, ¿ok? Se le llaman adjetivos compuestos, ¿ya? Yeah? So, thick-skinned. Very good. Number two. Jill is completely space. She is pleasant to your face, but says nasty things about you behind your back. So, two-faced. Is two-faced. Very good. A two-faced. Number three. Patrick's boss is terribly space. Even the smallest mistakes make him angry. Temper. Yes, hot temper, okay? Correct. Then number four, Joe has become really a space since he got promoted to the position of a store manager. Big headed. Big headed. Yes, I uh have -huh. big headed. Okay. Yeah. Number five. Diane is a very space lady. She always, uh, she is always ready to help the poor and needy. One headed. Yes. Okay. ¿Qué significa needy? What is the meaning of needy? To Necesitado. help the poor and needy. Perfect. Necesitado. Okay. Al, al pobre y necesitados, okay? So, number six. John is the most space person I know. He remembers where he puts things and always forgets about his meetings and appointments. So, he is? Absent-minded. Absent-minded, okay? Yes. Number seven. Amy is so space, all she cares about is herself and her career. Amy is so. All she cares about is herself and her. Self-centered. Self Correct, okay. Self-centered, okay. Egocentric, okay. So what about number eight? Peter remained very calm during the difficult economic crisis. He is very... Hmm? Level-headed. Level-headed, okay? Tranquilo, right? Calma. Una persona razonable, okay? So now, number nine. Eva is extremely space. She never accepts different points of view or lifestyles. Narrow-minded. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. So you see? Yeah? Try to learn those adjectives by heart. Okay? So you can remember and use them. Okay? To describe people. Yeah? Okay, do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? No? Okay, let's continue, All right? Let's continue. So now we are going to focus on the main topic for today. The main topic for today is adjectives ending in ed and ing. What do you know about that topic? What do you know about adjectives ending in ed? and the ones that end in ing. Who knows something? What do you remember? Um, nobody? So what is the difference between tired and tiring? What is the difference? What is the difference between um, Exhausted, right? And exhausting with ing. Uh -huh. What is the difference? No? Okay. Well, first of all, what I would like to mention, guys, is that, um, uh, let me see, give me one second, okay? Where is it? 
Okay, first of all, uh, what I would like to mention is that if you go to the spreadsheet, you will see that there is a list of adjectives. You can open this list, okay? Because um, just for you to probably see that we have adjectives end in ed and the ones that end in ing, yeah? So I think that it is going to be really useful for you, okay? But right now, let's focus on this. So basically, guys, the difference between the adjectives that end in ed and ing is the following. It says that the adjectives that end in ed are the ones that we use to describe how we feel, right? So how you feel, your emotion, how you feel. Okay, so let's take a look at the following examples. So we have, we are tired. Can we stop running? So I feel tired. Yeah. I'm bored. Let's play cards. So I feel bored. That is my emotion. That's, that is how I feel. I'm bored. Not bored, bored. Yes. I was surprised to see her. I was surprised to see her. ED. And as you can see, all of them end in ED. All of them. Yeah. So those are the ones that describe how we feel, how you feel. If I ask you, how are you? So you always say, mm, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah. It's like the, the same answer, right? Most of the time. So now, we also have the adjectives that end in ing. So the ones that end in ing are the adjectives that are used. Fíjese bien aquí, passive voice. Voz pasiva, lo que vimos el día de ayer. Adjectives are used to talk about the things that produce these feelings, okay? So they give the characteristic. Los que terminan en ing nos dan la característica de una cosa, de una persona, de una situación. Yeah. For example, running, running, correr, is very tiring. Correr es muy cansado. Yeah, running is very tiring. This film is very boring. Yeah, so this film is very boring, I-N-G. So you are giving the characteristic to the film. Yeah, está diciendo que el, la película es muy aburrida. Yeah, let's play cards. Her visit was very surprising. We weren't expecting her. Okay. So her visit was very surprising. Está dándole la característica a la situación, a la visita de ella. Fue sorprendente, surprising. Que le causó a usted sorpresa. For example, her visit was very surprising. I was surprised. Yeah, estamos utilizando el ING y el ED. Her visit was very surprising. I felt surprised. Okay. Now, why? is really important to know the difference between adjectives that end in ed and the ones that end in ing. It is really important because of the following. Those are examples. Let's compare the difference, okay? Look at those two examples, guys. It says, my girlfriend is bored. Okay, so if we say, my girlfriend, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, my boyfriend, my whatever is bored, all right? We are saying that that person feels bored, okay? But if we say 
my girlfriend is boring, we are saying that my girlfriend is a boring person. So you are giving a characteristic to that person. So if you say, I am boring, está diciendo que usted es aburrido. Si usted dice, I am bored, está diciendo que usted está aburrido. Yeah. So now, um, let's take a look at this. I am confused. Yo estoy confundido, confundida. I am confused. Pero si usted dice, I am confusing, usted se está calificando a usted mismo, está diciendo que usted es confuso, que usted hace que las demás personas se confundan. ¿Ok? Um, that's why it's very important for you to know this, porque en ocasiones decimos, yes, teacher, my day was tired. No, your day was not tired. Porque su día no se sintió eh, el día, o sea, no se sintió básicamente eh, cansado. Usted se sintió cansado, pero el día estuvo cansado. Entonces, the day was tiring. ING. Ok, por eso es que usted tiene que memorizarse esto y que no se le olvide. I am tired because my day was tiring. Ok. So then we also have, whenever we have the two adjectives, take a look at this. It's not that common, pero se puede dar esa situación donde tiene que ocupar los dos adjetivos, el que termina en ed y el que termina en ing, como el ejemplo anterior, the previous example that I said. I am tired because my day was really tiring. Yeah. The same happens with this one. I was shocked by how shocking the accident was last night. Uh -huh. I was shocked, right? Yo me sentí, estaba atónito, right? By how shocking. Uh -huh. Por el sorprendente accidente. Yeah. So they were frightened, all right? Frightened by the frightening roller coaster ride. I am annoyed by how annoying the person in front of us is. Si se dice, she is or he is annoying. O sea, está diciendo que esa persona es molesta, que le causa a usted que se siente molesto, porque está calificando a esa persona con el ING. ¿Ok? Entonces le dice, you are boring, you are confusing, you are annoying, you are tiring. Son cosas negativas, porque está diciendo que es confuso, que es... Eh, que, que él causa que usted se sienta cansado, okay? aburrido, confundido, molesto. Okay? Uh -huh. Sally was confused by the confusing street signs in the city. Okay? So Sally was confused. Okay? Estaba confundida. ¿Por qué? Por las confusas eh, señales de tránsito en la ciudad, en la calle. Ok. Of course, there are many adjectives that are not that common. Ok. Hay muchos que no son comunes utilizarlos, pero hay unos que sí son muy, pero muy comunes. Como el bored, boring, tired, tiring. Confused, confusing, shock, shocking. Those are really common. Annoy, annoying is another one very common. Son bien comunes. Mm -hmm. So, let's continue. And now let's see if we are understanding the topic. Yeah. So we have um, eight exercises. So let's see. 
she's a big dog, but you don't know, you don't need, sorry, to be. Mm -hmm. She is a big dog, but you don't need to be. Frightened. Frightened. Okay, so that means letter A, because le está diciendo, no te tienes que sentir. Yeah, you don't need to be, no tienes que estar. Yeah, frightened, asustado. Yeah, so number two. The instructions for my new coffee machine are really? Confused. Con confusing. ¿Por qué? Porque le está calificando las instrucciones. Está calificando las instrucciones. Dice que las instrucciones son confusas. ¿Ok? Está dándole el, la calificación a las instrucciones. Recuerde que el ED es como usted se siente por esa situación. Pero aquí estamos dándole una característica a las instrucciones. Son confusing. Number three. I loved my math teacher. Lessons with her were never boring. Boring. Porque está calificando las clases, las lessons. Ok. Number four, it says that shop never has any customers. I am surprised. Surprised. Very good. Letter A, it's still there. Está diciendo cómo se siente. Usted está sorprendido. I am surprised. Okay. Now, what about number five? The battery on my phone only lasts about two hours. It is really? Annoying. Annoying. I-N-G. Number six. I was a space that I didn't get the job. Disappointed. Disappointed. Because you felt. You felt that emotion. Number seven. I'm reading a really a space book. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Because you are giving an adjective to the book. Okay. Está calificando al book. And the last one. The children were so space they couldn't sleep. Excited. Excited. Correct. Okay. Están emocionados. Okay. Uh -huh. Exciting podemos interpretarlo como emocionante. Excited con ED, emocionado. Con ING, emocionante. Ok. All right. Do you have any question related to the topic? Do you have any doubt? Questions, doubts that you may have, dudas, preguntas? No? Okay, very good. So right here, um, something that you need to know as well, okay, is the following, guys. Los adjetivos, eh, muchos de los adjetivos vienen de los verbos. Eso es para conocimiento general, okay? General knowledge. So, some adjectives come from verbs. Yeah, as you can see right here, amaze, and we have the adjective which is amazing, amazed, amuse is a verb, amusing, amused, esos son los dos adjetivos, el ing y el ed, ok, pero pueden ser verbos también, ya, yeah? eso es para su conocimiento general nada más, right? So then, um, let's see, what else? Uh, okay, so now, if you don't have any question, what we are going to do is that we are going to take the first quiz that is related to this topic. It's related to the topic of adjectives that end in ed and ing and also superlative and comparative adjectives, all right? 
And once you finish, what we are going to do is that we are going to move to different breakout rooms and you are going to describe the following. Con su team, okay, va a ser en equipos. Which is more exciting? Va a decidir cuál es más emocionante. A skiing trip in Switzerland or a beach holiday in Jamaica. Can you give me five reasons for your answer? Pero eso va a ser hasta que ya hayamos tomado el examen que vamos a tomar. Cuando ya termine y yo vea que ya terminó, lo voy a mover a una sala diferente para que empiece a trabajar en eso. ¿Ok? So, let's take the, the quiz. I will send the, the link right now. Um, ok. The link for the quiz is this one. Ok. There you go. Let me see. Yes, adjectives ending. Si está en la, en la hoja, es el que dice adjectives ending in ed and ing quiz. Ese es el, el, el link. Y la contraseña, the password, is going to be English, capital letters. Right? Take your time. Tómese su tiempo. ¿Ok? Tómese su tiempo. Abra la clase. Si quiere hacerlo con la clase, con la, eh, la diapositiva, abra. ¿Ok? Lo importante es que comprenda el tema. ¿Ok?
Okay, so let me see. Um, Pablo, did you finish? Uh, one more time. Okay, all right. So I think that, well, I see that Claudia, Carlos, Kenya, Mariam, Marina, and I think that Norma, Norma, you are as a listener, right? Yo creo que están como oyentes. Um, okay, I'm just waiting for Pablo. Wendy, well, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Hello, terminó. Did you finish? Terminó el quiz. No, teacher, no puedo entrar, no sé por qué razón. Mm. Yo ahora te estoy intentando. Ok. Uh -huh. Bye. Okay, guys, did you finish? No, yet. We have no, three. You have three? three? Okay. okay. Three. I would like to watch uh, the hot water. Okay, so did you finish your five sentences or your five reasons? No? No, Jess? Just, okay. Just, just no, we're talking about that. All right, so try to create the, the, the reasons, but try to include the adjectives, okay? Incluyan adjetivos que terminen en ed o ing en sus razones, okay? Okay. Okay, let me see. Experience. The new experience is amusing. Is amusing. Uh, we are satisfied with the trip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Si le ponemos. ¿Eh? Yes. Ya nos vamos <laughs> De rey. Okay. So what I need to do is the following, okay? Now that you have finished with that, I need to create three sentences, but those three sentences using the ing and the ed on the same sentence. Yeah? Like, for example, the one that I uh, told you, I am tired because of the tiring day I had. Yeah. And, and we have to, to use the same example uh, we chose. Mm, no, different. Okay. Yeah, different. Okay. Hmm. We are so tired because the trip was exciting. In, in Jamaica, the weather is uh, Satisfying. Uh, ratty, ratty fighting. Ah, pero como refiriéndose a que el clima es que mm. 
It is fighting, maybe. Yeah. Hola, buenas noches. Noche, Hola. Lo siento, pero no me cargaba el inter. Um, how many are you missing? ¿Cuántas le faltan? Yeah. Yes. ¿Cuánto le falta? How, how many Ever. sentences? Ever, Tengo hasta ahorita dos de Meli. Ok. Y una de Jamaica. Ok, so you're missing two. Mm -hmm. Ok. Are you writing, Carla? Uh, yes. Because you will expose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Solo okay. la última de la anterior porque no copié. Okay. Okay, so you are done? You finish? No yet. No yet. No. Okay. Okay. ¿Cuántas horas? ¿Tres oraciones o cuántas? ¿Cuál, es la, Falta ¿Cuál es la última antes de la anterior? <risa> Podría ser muy relajado o algo así. Uh -huh. Eh, hay más tal vez en Jamaica eh, the food is more in, eh, in interest, interesting mm -hmm. interesting 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 mm -hmm. interesting perfect Okay. Another one. I say my I, I say my opinion in the chat. Okay. Okay. So I'm sent because there is a okay. Okay. 
Okay. Mm, I think that Jamaica is, mo is more exciting because you can feel probably, but breathe. I think that breathe is respirar, but I think that you can feel. Creo que se puede sentir instead of breathe. The beach atmosphere. Se la siente. Mm -hmm. You can feel. Feel the beach atmosphere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is so, four reason for Jamaica and Switzerland, only two reasons. Okay, yes, you you have five. I thought yes, okay. you have five. Yes, okay. Let's go to the main room, okay? So make sure you know who is going to uh, expose, okay? ¿Quién va a exponer, okay? ¿Quién va a decir todo lo que han escrito, okay? Uh, I'll give you uh, one minute, okay? So you decide. So just okay. let me see the other, yeah, the other team. Uh, it's a different and amazing place for vacation. La segunda. Learning to ski is exciting. Okay. The landscape are very fascinating. Mm -hmm. okay. and the new experience is amusing. Ready? Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we are going to start with Juan Jose and his team, okay? So let's see. For you guys, which is more exciting, a skiing trip in Switzerland or a beach holiday in Jamaica and why? Carla, can you answer, please? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we prefer a skiing trip in Switzerland mm -hmm. for reason. It's a different, different and amazing place for vacation. Mm -hmm. Learning to ski is exciting. Okay. The landscape are very fascinating, mm -hmm. and the new experience is amusing. Amusing. Okay, now the other three sentences. Uh, number one, we are tired because the tree was exciting. Exciting, okay. And disappointed because the movie is worried. And we, we were astonished because the climbing was challenging. Okay, uh, we were astonished because the hiking probably, or climbing, climbing. Because climbing was challenging. Challenging or challenging? No, no challenging, yeah. Challenging. Yeah, challenging. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the second one, number two, Say it once again, number two. I'm disappointed because the movie is worrying. Because the movie is? Worrying. Boring. Oh, boring. Oh, boring. 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 <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, so yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Emerson and your team, which is more exciting for you guys, a skiing trip in Switzerland or a beach holiday in Jamaica? 
and why. The trip in Switzerland is one reason. The first reason is the weather is more colored than Jamaica. There is a beautiful mountains. Mm -hmm. In Jamaica. Um, Emerson, let's see the first one, okay? The first one. So the weather is colder, okay? More, no, remove it. Colder, just colder. More colder, no, okay? Okay, continue. The trip to Jamaica, the weather is most warm. There is a beautiful beach of sand white. The okay. food is okay. more interesting. Interesting, all right. Um, okay, number two, Emerson, number two. So let's see, the weather is warmer in Jamaica. Warmer in Jamaica. Okay. In Jamaica. Okay, and the food is interesting, you said. Yes. Okay. What else? That's it? Jamaica, the Jamaica is the most exciting because there is a, you can feel it, the beach atmosphere. You can feel the beach atmosphere, okay? That's it? Only that. That's Only it. that, okay. All right. So guys, um, very good. All right, do not forget about the rules for comparatives and superlative adjectives, okay? Do not forget about the adjectives that end in ed and ing, okay? So do you have any question right now related to the topic that we have covered? Tienen preguntas, tienen dudas. No? Or yes? No? Okay. So now, let's see, guys. We are going to move and we are going to take the reading quiz, okay? For the reading quiz, um, you have the link on the spreadsheet and what we are going to do is the following. So you will open the quiz, but you will see the reading on my screen, okay? No va a ver el párrafo en el examen, sino que lo va a ver aquí en mi pantalla. Usted va a abrir el examen, pero usted va a ver el párrafo acá en mi pantalla, yes? So, primero que nada, vamos a abrir el exam. Okay, let's go to take um, the link. Okay, let's get it. It's the one that says reading quiz. Okay, that is the link. And, okay, I'm going to send it here. And the passcode is reading. Capital letters. Okay. I will give you five minutes because this quiz is really easy okay it's not difficult it's easy okay open the quiz open the quiz and you will have five minutes to answer that quiz based on this short reading okay so you can start.
Okay, guys. So let's see. Uh, Carla, can you please help us reading this paragraph? All. Yes, please. Okay. Our vacation. vacation. Every year we go to Florida. We like Florida? To Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida. <laughs> Every year we go to Florida. We like to go to the beach. My favorite beach is called Emerson Beach. It, it is very long with soft sand and palm trees. trees. It is a very beautiful. I like to make sand castles and watch the sailboats go by. Sometimes there are dolphins and wild walls in the water. Every morning we look for shells in the sand. I found 50 big shells last year. I put them the, in a special place in my room. This year I want to learn to surf. It is hard to surf, but so much fun. My sister is a good surfer. She says that she can teach me Teach me and I hope I can do it. Perfect, thank you. Observations, cold, okay? Cold. cold. And this one, wells. Wells. Yes, all right, cold, okay, cold. Okay, guys, so I hope the reading quiz uh, was kind of easy. I think that yes, it was easy, right? Um, all right, so I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance because we haven't uh, taken the attendance. Okay, so here we go. Uh, please say present once you hear your name. Give me one second. Okay, guys. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. José Bernardo López Montes. José Bernardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Karen. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marina Jensi Sandoval Bonilla. Marina Jensi. And, okay. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Oh, yes, Mauricio. And Nelly Lilibeth Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Yes, thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Yes. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Eh, Tatiana, well, Tatiana is not here. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present. Yes, thank you. And Jonathan Roberto Garcia. Yes, I saw you. Present. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, uh, let's continue, okay? So now let's move, guys, and we are going to take the last quiz for tonight, all right? So the last quiz is about listen, yeah? listening so there you go and the passcode listen okay open the quiz please and let me know once you are in so i can play the recording okay um okay i'm going to play this 
audio uh, three times, ¿ok? The same thing as yesterday, ¿ok? Three times, tres veces, antes de que lo envíe para que escuche bien los detalles, ¿ok? Ok, so let me know if you are ready. Ready? Yeah. Ok, so here we go. Well, good morning, everyone. My name's Craig Stone, and I'll be your guide for today's tour of Kyoto. First, I want to go over the itinerary for the tour so everyone can enjoy the trip without being worried about being left behind along the way, and no one has gotten lost so far. First of all, we'll be leaving at 9.15 outside the main train station exit. That's in 30 minutes. Be sure to board the bus by 9 o'clock sharp. We'll be visiting some of the most famous historical spots in Kyoto, our first stop will be at the Golden Pavilion, a temple constructed in 1397. We'll be leaving there at 10.30. You'll have about 45 minutes to stroll around the temple and its gardens. Our next destination will be Ryuanji Temple. That's always a difficult one to pronounce. This temple is famous for its beautiful rock garden. We'll depart from the temple at 11.45. Next, we'll have lunch from 12 to 12.45. In the afternoon, we'll be making a brief stop at Heian Jingu Shrine, which was constructed in 1895 to commemorate the 1,100th anniversary of the founding of the city of Kyoto. After that, we'll head downtown and stop in Gion. Many people ask me about different traditional shopping areas, and this is a place that we don't want to miss. You'll have about an hour to look around, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the atmosphere of the entire area, the shops, the homes, and the restaurants, a very traditional flavor of Kyoto. We'll be leaving Gion at 2.30. Finally, we'll visit Ninjojo Castle, which was the residence of the first Tokugawa Shogun. You'll have about an hour to tour the castle, and we'll meet at the bus at 4 o'clock. Any questions? Okay, the second time. Well, good morning, everyone. My name's Craig Stone, and I'll be your guide for today's tour of Kyoto. First, I want to go over the itinerary for the tour so everyone can enjoy the trip without being worried about being left behind along the way, and no one has gotten lost so far. First of all, we'll be leaving at 9.15 outside the main train station exit. That's in 30 minutes. Be sure to board the bus by 9 o'clock sharp. We'll be visiting some of the most famous historical spots in Kyoto. Our first stop will be at the Golden Pavilion, a temple constructed in 1397. We'll be leaving there at 10.30. You'll have about 45 minutes to stroll around the temple and its gardens. Our next destination will be Ryuanji Temple. That's always a difficult one to pronounce. This temple is famous for its beautiful rock garden. We'll depart from the temple at 11.45. Next, we'll have lunch from 12 to 12.45. In the afternoon, we'll be making a brief stop at Heian Jingu Shrine, which was constructed in 1895 to commemorate the 1,100th anniversary of the founding of the city of Kyoto. After that, we'll head downtown and stop in Gion. Many people ask me about different traditional shopping areas, and this is a place that we don't want to miss. You'll have about an hour to look around, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the atmosphere of the entire area, the shops, the homes, and the restaurants, a very traditional flavor of Kyoto. We'll be leaving Gion at 2.30. Finally, we'll visit Ninjojo Castle, which was the residence of the first Tokugawa Shogun. You'll have about an hour to tour the castle, and we'll meet at the bus at 4 o'clock. Any questions? Okay, the last time. Okay. Well, good morning, everyone. My name's Craig Stone, and I'll be your guide for today's tour of Kyoto. 
First, I want to go over the itinerary for the tour so everyone can enjoy the trip without being worried about being left behind along the way and no one has gotten lost so far. First of all, we'll be leaving at 9.15 outside the main train station exit. That's in 30 minutes. Be sure to board the bus by 9 o'clock sharp. We'll be visiting some of the most famous historical spots in Kyoto. Our first stop will be at the Golden Pavilion, a temple constructed in 1397. We'll be leaving there at 10.30. You'll have about 45 minutes to stroll around the temple and its gardens. Our next destination will be Ryuanji Temple. That's always a difficult one to pronounce. This temple is famous for its beautiful rock garden. We'll depart from the temple at 11.45. Next, we'll have lunch from 12 to 12.45. In the afternoon, we'll be making a brief stop at Heian Jingu Shrine, which was constructed in 1895 to commemorate the 1,100th anniversary of the founding of the city of Kyoto. After that, we'll head downtown and stop in Gion. Many people ask me about different traditional shopping areas, and this is a place that we don't want to miss. You'll have about an hour to look around, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the atmosphere of the entire area, the shops, the homes, and the restaurants, a very traditional flavor of Kyoto. We'll be leaving Gion at 2.30. Finally, we'll visit Ninjojo Castle, which was the residence of the first Tokugawa shogun. You'll have about an hour to tour the castle, and we'll meet at the bus at 4 o'clock. Any questions? All right, guys. Uh, submit your answers. All right. So then we're going to go to uh, speaking. We're going to practice right now. And um, we are going to practice the following questions. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and, and yeah. Okay. So we are going to practice with this one. Are you satisfied with your life right now? Okay, why or why not? Yeah. When was the last time you were very surprised? What happened? Yeah. What things in life are confusing from your point of view, right? And why do you think so? Yeah. Then what three things in your life are the most tiring yeah three things that are really tiring in your life what school subject is interesting for you what is something relaxing okay what is something relaxing you do when you are stressed uh -huh. then what food do you think is really disgusting you see, those questions are for you to practice adjectives, yeah? So when you were at school, what made you feel interested in class? Which is more terrifying, to meet late at night or a spider or a mouse, okay? So we're going to start practicing with those. We are going to practice for about 10, 10 minutes, okay, 15 minutes. Please try to speak as much as you can, okay? And I'm going to call one by one, okay, to some of you to practice with you, all right? So let me assign you. If you cannot join the room, don't worry, stay in the main room. But if you want to practice, you can go and practice, okay?
Okay. So, hi, Wendy. How are you? How are you, teacher? Hello. I'm fine. What about you? How are you? How do you feel? Ajá. ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo está? Aquí confundida. Why? Un poquito confundida. Un poquito Why? Confused. 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 Why, Wendy? ¿Por qué? Um, es que estaba descifrando. ¿El qué, Wendy? Las preguntas. <laughs> ok. Bye. Vamos a ver. Are you satisfied with life? ¿Qué le está preguntando? Are you satisfied with life? Es, uh, are you satisfied with life? Why my not? Are you satisfied? Satisfied? Why life? Satisfied? Uh -huh. Why? Okay. Wendy, repita después de mí, okay? Are you satisfied with life? Are you satisfied with life? Otra vez. Are you satisfied with life? Are you satisfied with life? Satisfied? 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 With life. With life. With life. With life. With life. With life. 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 Why? 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 Why not? Why not? Why? Why? Why not? Why not? Okay. So now, dígalo todo junto. Are you satisfied with life? Are you satisfied with life? Why? Why not? Why? Why not? Okay. So, are you satisfied with life, Wendy? Yes. Yes? Yes. Why? Por qué? Why? Why? Quiero que me razón. Uh, sorry, five. Are you sorry, five? Why life happy? Because I am happy. I, have, I am happy in, in my classroom English. Okay. All right. Because you're happy in your English classroom. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, can you tell me when was the last time you were very surprised? Repita después de mí. When was the last time you were very surprised? When was the last time you were you were very surprised? Very surprised. Very surprised. Yes. Uh -huh. When was the last time you were very surprised? Wendy, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que estuvo bien sorprendida usted? Um, and Saturday. On Saturday? On Saturday. Um, ¿qué, bueno, ¿cómo se dice? What? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, ¿Qué? What? Uh, what? Um, Uh, Saturday, why? Que salimos um, ah, con okay. mi familia. Okay, mm -hmm. no. On Saturday that On we Saturday. went out with my uh, family. We we went out. We went. We went mm -hmm. out. Out. Oh, okay. With my family. Sí. Deal with my family. With when family. We went out with my family. We, uh, we went out in the family. With my family. With my, my family. Family. Okay. We went out with my family. 
between without the family. 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 Okay. Okay. So number three. What things in life are confusing? Confusing, confusas. ¿Cuáles cosas son confusas en la vida para usted? Um, for me, in my work. Your job, okay. In uh -huh. mm -hmm. your what else? I confuse in I report. Reports, okay. Um, mm -hmm. in supermarket. Supermarket. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, um, salt. Um, reporting salt. Reports. And in a, in a venta de reports. I guess. Oh. Me confundo. O sea, los reportes de venta. Eso quiero decir. Sales reports. Sales reports, sí. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. So, what three things in your life are the most tiring? Mm -hmm. Cansadas. ¿Cuáles cosas son las más cansadas, agotantes para usted en la vida, güey? Es racist. No. ¿Cuál es el Estrés. 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 Angry. Eh. No. Ok, no. ¿Qué tres cosas son las más agotadoras para usted? Trabajar en el sol. <ríe> oh, wow. Ay, trabajar en el sol. Ah, ok. So, work. Work. Um, under the sun. Under, sí. Yes, work. Yes. Work, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. What else? ¿Qué más? Uh, I wear my... Trabajar con mi compañero. <ríe> Estresante. <ríe> Work with my co-workers. Ya voy a aprender, teacher. Qué pena. Dígamelo. Work with my co-workers. Work in with... my co-workers. With my co-workers. With my... With my... My... Co-workers. Co-workers. Uh -huh. Ok. 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 La segunda. Ok. What a school subject is interesting. ¿Qué materia es interesante para usted? ¿Qué es interesante para usted, Wendy? Estudying in English. Okay. Um, um, for, um, pero, bueno, me gusta el inglés, pero me cuesta. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, English. English, but it's difficult. Sí. Okay. Yes. Okay. And what is something relaxing you do when you are stressed? Cuando se tiene estrés, Wendy, ¿qué es lo que hace para relajarse? Mm. Jugar. Jugar. Play. 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 Con, jugar con mi nieta, teacher. Ok, so it should be play with my granddaughter. Doreen. Daughter. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Next. What 
food, ok, what food, ¿qué significa food? Um, no, no sé. Food, comida. Ah, sí. So, what sí. food do you think is really disgusting? ¿Qué comida piensa que es bien fea, que no le gusta? I saw una sopa de pata. Pata soup? Pata. You don't like pata? No, it's it's not mm -hmm. delicious. Right? I don't like pata mm -hmm. soup. No. I don't like. mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, bye. Eh, Wendy, la voy a mover para una sala distinta. Voy a traer a alguien más, pero trate de practicar. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Gracias Thank por su paciencia. No, Thank you. Okay. Vaya, trate de practicar, ¿ok? Está bien. Ok, and let's see, number four. Hi, Nelly. Hi. How are you? Fine. You're fine? Okay. Nelly, what three things in your life are the most tiring? Um, I think that just two things. Two things. I, yes, I just um work and study. <laughs> I think I think both. Oh my are... god, okay. The most important ones. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. And what school subject is interesting for you? Um I always like um, uh, subject with numbers. <laughs> so like, I have, I have always liked. Uh, I have always liked math. Subject with numbers like uh, math. Uh -huh. Science? Physica, science. Oh, and maybe physics. that uh, phys physics. Uh -huh. And a technology too. Technology, okay. Yes. And languages. And languages? Okay. Yes. So are you good uh, with numbers? Yes, I'm good with numbers. Okay. And all right. What is something relaxing you do when you are stressed? Um, I do um, three things. I uh, listen to music. Mm -hmm. um, I watch uh, series or movies. And I do exercise. Just you, Okay. And you do exercise. Okay, perfect. And what food do you think is really disgusting? <laughs> seafood. I don't like okay. seafood. You don't like seafood? <laughs> yeah. No fish? No, no. Now, friends, nothing? No, no. Okay. No. All right. Okay. So when you were at school, what made you feel interested in class? Um, what made you interested in class? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I always have been or oh, yeah, having a good, good yes. note, good note. <laughs> okay, yes. really? And, uh -huh. and um, with my partners, uh -huh. we are we we were, oh, we participate, participated. We participate in in very in, in different um activities like uh uh recollect uh clouds. No okay. say recollect yeah. uh -huh. clouds and um uh, food food okay. for uh people uh people needy during okay. People. And uh, sometimes we um, realize that uh, or prepared um, activities for uh, kids and okay different uh, schools. Okay, kids. <laughs> All right, you did enjoy. It. Yes. Right. 
Okay. And which is more terrifying to meet? All right. So is it terrifying to meet late at night a spider or a mouse for you? A spider. <laughs> a spider, right? Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree on that one. I think the spiders, right? Also snakes, right? Snakes. Yeah, mm -hmm. they horrible, <laughs> right? Horrible. Okay. So, um, okay. When you were young, who made you feel encouraged? Mm, encourage is como empoderado, no sé. Yes, como motivated. Uh -huh. um, who made? I think that my family. Okay. Uh, I don't know because I always <laughs> fight for for I I did um everything that I want. <laughs> okay. Um I don't know. I I always have been um uh, independent. Mm -hmm. Independent girl. Okay. And I think um maybe the person most important in my life um were my grandparents mm -hmm. and I I I always have been um very close with them. All right. Okay. And the last one. Can you think of reasons why someone may feel stressed at work? Um because the El ambiente, no sé. Because of the environment? Environment, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes uh, the work or activities are not difficult, but yes, the people <laughs> of the co-workers or managers or um, supervisor mm -hmm. that or has. And... Uh, sometimes uh, they they um, have a, a toxic <laughs> toxic <laughs> toxic or um uncomfortable uh, yes okay uh, all right okay mm -hmm. there are many things right why someone may feel stressed at where I think there are different things okay yes. all right okay. Well, Nelly, let's go back, okay, to the main room. So we are almost done. So thank you very much, okay? Let's go back. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Is Eduardo Franco here? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. I I have a connection with the you, internet. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, don't worry. Um, is Carlos Vladimir here? Yes, teacher. Okay, Carlos, can you tell me some reasons why some someone may feel stressed at work? I feel stressed when my boss I give a. Uh, a mission, for example, mm -hmm. to attend a meeting with my, uh, how do you say, director? Mm, with the director, with, with that general director? Operation. Manager? Uh, 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 director de operación? Yeah, mm -hmm. operation uh, manager. The operation manager. Okay, that makes you feel stressed at work. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, got it, thank you. What about you, Juan Jose? Can you think of reasons why someone or why you may feel stressed at work? Okay, uh, some reason uh, for me is when I have to do two or three tasks at the same time. Mm -hmm and I don't have enough time to do. 
Okay. And sometimes I have to work after our job. How do you say? After your shift. Uh, after my shift mm -hmm. to do that task. And that is a stress to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a stressful, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about you, Carla? Um, give me some reasons why you or someone may feel stressed at work. When I, I do, and I do anything things, but it's not in my list, uh, it's new. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I, I know my time, but mm -hmm. it's a new job or new things. Uh, yeah. it's, it's control. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and what about you, Emerson? What are some reasons why you feel a fret at work? I don't have a time to drink coffee. That's so much stressing for me. <laughs> Come on, Marissa, really? <laughs> yes. Sometimes <laughs> I have a lot of tasks for doing. To do. Don't take a coffee. Oh my God. And one. how, how many one. times do you drink coffee a day? Um, more or less four, four times. Four times a day? You drink yes. a lot of coffee. I like coffee. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. So, yeah, you should have those like probably little times, right, for you to to drink coffee. If not, you get stressed. Uh -huh. yes. All right. Yeah, okay, stressed. guys. All right. So, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for connecting today and being responsible. Okay. If you don't have any question, I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night and try to study. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, night. teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Miss. Bye bye, Miss. Bye bye, Nelly. Take care. Bye, Bernardo.